Uh, Portal here at the first <laughs> real YCS. Watch it, Charlotte. Let's yeah. go. We have here the infamous. This is yourself to the world, man. Charlie Fudge. Charlie Fudge. Man, Dragon Champion right here. Let's go. So, what happened, man? Uh, I was 8 0. I lost the last round of Swiss Day 1. Then I went X2 after Swiss, and I got 11. Then uh, I got really unfortunate in the top 32 in the mirror match. Mirror match? Yeah. Oh, okay. What deck? Sword Soul. Sword Soul. Christian Tabor. Hey, shout out. Uh, first, definitely shout out Hani Jahari. Um, he basically was like, yeah, play this deck. And I was like, uh, I was playing a completely different deck for the entire past two weeks. But this was the deck I was most comfortable with. And I think a lot of people still sleep on this deck. So I really want to play it. And I think if you play it correctly, then you could beat almost anybody, no matter their skill. Um, also, shout out uh, my homie Austin. You know, that's my boy. Uh, most of these cards are his. Uh, yeah, and everybody on Luxury, my team. Nice. Without further ado, please show us the game, man. Okay, so the deck's pretty standard for the most part. Uh, so three, three Moe, three Long Young, and I played one Taie. Um, I think the second one came up maybe once for me. Uh, the entire event. It's uh, really bad to draw two of this card, and you only use it mainly for the Hout combo, so um, you don't really need two of it most of the time. So, yeah, you only play one, and I don't want to brick. I always want to play. I only brick one time the entire event, and it wasn't really even a brick I won. And I played two Ecclesia. Um, I was playing three of this card, but uh, I, I don't want to see this card in multiples a lot of times, so two is fine. And I cut down on the names, so that was it for the, like Swordsword guys. Uh, I played Tennis as well, so I played three Ashina, three Adhara, and two Vashuda. Um, oh, my bad. I also played one Shatana. Um, this card's really good, uh, especially with like Ogre, um, Vessel. I played Circle as well, just to like dodge Ogre because that card. It's very prevalent. Like, everybody's going to play that card because of Brave Inning. So, I have to play Shatano. And the rest are pretty explanatory. This card's insane. These these two cards is full how combo with Herald. So. And that's it for, like, the main monsters. For the Antrap, I played three Valor, three Ogre, three Ash, and three Nib. And I also played two Droll. So, I really like Droll. Um, a lot of people don't play this card, but it's good, like, against the Brave Engine, like, them adding right or them, um, adding first, like, adding Jericho back first before they, um, get the Omni Negate, which is, like, really good. Um, it's good against Prank Kids, unless they, like, hard open a Prank Kid. Um, it's just overall a really solid card, and this is for, like, base, etc., like, decks like those. Most of the other hand traps is pretty mandatory, I think, this format. And then last monster I played was one death spot. Uh, top 32, I drew this card uh, oh. two out of the three games. That card sticks in my head. Uh, so for the spells, uh, three emergence, three vessel, and three circle. Um, vessel, obviously I play the tinnies. This is standard. A lot of people don't like this card, but this card's literally insane. Like um, sometimes, like if I have like Moyi Haro, um, and they imperm or valor my melee i could literally just let it resolve tribute circle then full combo with ashuna and hara so this card's like really nice the second effect comes up a lot too for your follow-up to add any tinny from deck and then i play one desires and then one blackout pretty standard for the most part it's just the way you play what's the main deck count main deck count i believe is 44 okay. yeah and tokens then we play two monk Standard, uh, we haven't played three for a long time. Uh, Shaman, this card when I, I wasn't playing it and it kept coming up and testing. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't summon this card once the entire event. Well, no, I summoned it twice actually. I just didn't use the effect where it uh, came up, but I probably play this card again because it will come up over the second back to you, which I don't play. Then the Hulk package, um, then we played Herald. This card is nice, like with the if you have Ashina plus full combo, it's just an extra uh, negate on top of everything. Yazi, back to your Chow thing. Uh, a lot of people cut this card, but I, I have to play this card just because Nib 
Ogre, Valor are all prevalent hand traps in this format. So Child Fang just shuts all those off. And usually when you go for this line, um, you can still play if they nip you there. So it's really good. Uh, I don't think I missed the second back to you, but it probably would have been nice to have, but it just never came up. Uh, Berserker, then Chu Chi Chow. All this is pretty standard. I don't really have spine and stuff, but then the new guys and then uh, ban. This card's insane. This card beats the Braven by itself. This card by itself beats PK for the most part, unless they like Hard Open Fusion Destiny or, you know, like Souls, etc. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's it for the extra deck. For the side deck, I played a DPE and Doo Doo Doo, and I played three cherries. So you prefer this over the cat? Yeah, I prefer this over the cat. Um, the cat's the cat's fine. Um, I mean, I personally like do 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 over that because you just do it after they summon. They like prank kid me out, summon another prank kid. I cherry zoom. Then my decks easily can easily play through a DPE, which is about their best board. Uh, meow. It, if um if they have like pandemonium or like pranks in hand then um, me hitting the Meow doesn't do anything. So I always want this card, because this card adds pranks, and then it usually lets them keep going, so. And then DPE, uh, I side again, it came up against um, PK. Shout out my boy Bless, I played him uh, around five or six, something like that. And then 3DD Crow. Um, a lot of people don't like this card, but with everybody playing cross out, this is a card that people aren't gonna cross out because people aren't playing DD Crow. As well as, um, it's good like against a prank kid deck, uh, like UDD card, like Pandemonium or something, which stops like double battle and belly pop on your turn. It's really good. Um, I just think it's overall solid hand trap and people sleep on it. Um, and then obviously, I got I got to play the gamut package. This is by far the best hand trap this format. I would main it if I could, but obviously, I can't because I can't use it like me going first. So. And then the last card I played is three droplet. Um, droplet is really good. I don't know if I main deck it. Uh, it's just really good side deck, like going against a prank kid deck. I'm, I don't know if I main it, but this literally shuts down the entire board every time. Um, you just shotgun it and you win. Uh, droplet is good. Every time, I, I always side it in, usually game two and three. So, like, even going first or second because the collector is a card. And I, I don't want to get collected, so hey, that's about it. That's it for the day. Oh, yeah. Well, congrats on claiming another top man. Appreciate it. Yeah, you got yeah. the win next time, right? Yeah, definitely. God, yes. All right, everyone. That's it from White City Charlotte. Portal out.